You know, when I was a kid, I used to chase police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances. I'd ride my bike after my paper route. And if there was a plume of smoke in the sky or red lights flashing, my mother was never concerned where I was. She knew where I was. I figured out along the way, though, that there was a way that I could wait at the hospital and do good for people. And the police cars, the fire trucks, and the ambulances, and now helicopters, come to us. Trauma draws no lines, it impacts everyone. We take care of people who crash their private airplanes, we take care of people who crash their Bentleys, we take care of people who are everyday people just like us, and uh, we take care of the homeless. Everybody gets the same level of care, everybody gets the same level of respect and consideration. Trauma begins in the field at the time of the accident. The first responders, police, fire, paramedics, often the first ones to make contact and give hope to the critically ill and injured. Then the fire, police, and paramedics come to the hospital. We, the trauma team members, a dozen of us, standing by, waiting to assess the patient, checking the airway, the breathing, the circulation. It's, it's just one big team effort, and when it flows, it works. Hanson House was a way that we could take trauma and surgical critical care a step beyond the patients. 16 guest rooms, 64 bed spaces, 11,000 square feet, two RV slots, volunteers, and we serve hundreds of families from the Coachella Valley and beyond every year. You know, I've been very fortunate. Palm Springs is actually the only place I've ever worked coming out of training. In addition to meeting Dr. Paz, I met my wife here of 26 years. Together we raised three kids, put them through school. Uh, I've been very fortunate with a good opportunity here at Desert Regional Medical Center. And I've worked with a lot of great people. As far as the community, it's been a great place to live. They've been very, very generous to the Hanson House Project. And uh, oh, a lot of success and thanks and gratitude to the Palm Springs community. In order to do the work that we do, you have to have stamina, you have to have energy, you have to enjoy the anatomy and the physiology, you have to be able to set aside uh, the circumstances because we're often in very difficult circumstances. You have to be caring, you have to be passionate, you have to be empathetic, show compassion, And uh, it's quite a good feeling when you can drive home at 2 o'clock in the morning knowing you made a difference. <laughs>